Hey guys, my name is Epicraft, and today I'm going to show you how to create a, um, how to create functioning stockings in Minecraft, in vanilla Minecraft, that is. Yeah, no mods or add-ons. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so for this build, you are going to need a wall, so you could really just get anything you want. I'm just going to get this, just to make something really quick. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I'm just going to get a bunch of random stuff, just to make this really quick. Alright, I'm going to be right back. Alright, so, now that that's made, let's actually start on the, so let's actually start on the actual stockings and fire, well, first, you should probably make a fireplace, stockings look best in front of fireplaces. <laughs> So, for the whole thing, you're going to need some brick blocks, or whatever you want to make your fireplace out of. I'm just going to make mine out of brick. And then some iron bars for in front of the fire, and then either type of campfire. I kind of feel like going with a soul campfire. I like how it looks more. Anyway, and then you are going to also need four barrels or that many uh, for as many stockings as you want and then you're going to need an anvil um four item frames by the way this looks really good with if you have a texture pack uh, yeah, that turns iron frames invisible because then it just looks like they're hanging there on the wall not on an item frame oh yeah i guess in my case it's gonna be three barrels anyway and then you're going to need a bunch of pairs of leather boots for as many stockings as you're going to want. And then you are going to need a cauldron. If you're on Java Edition, you don't need this or the water bucket. But you will only need these two if you're playing on Bedrock Edition. If you're playing on Java, you don't need that. And I'm going to show you why. Because you're also going to need some dye. And on Java Edition, you can just diet straight in the crafting like that this doesn't work on bedrock edition as you can see so just grab some dye as well i'm just gonna go with some red and some green and oh yeah this isn't needed but it's just for fun if you want to have smoke coming out of the top of your house you're gonna want a hay bale okay so let's get started so, to make your fireplace, you're going to want to first, um, well, just let me get some cobblestone for this. You're going to want to break this block, put in whatever you want the bottom of your fireplace to be. This is going to be mostly hidden, but I still just don't want it to have wool showing. And then you're going to want to put down your campfire. And then, break that block, replace it with that. Put down your iron bar, and then do this. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, don't do that. Okay, put these here. Yeah, put the stairs here like so. And then do this. Oops. That. And then do, and then put a block here and here. Oh yeah, actually, you're going to need two campfires. And I'm going to show you why in a moment. And then behind here... Oh, actually, you're only going to need a second one if you want smoke coming out. Which I do. So, if you want this, then just come to the back of your wall. Break out this block. Replace it with a hay bale. 
and then just put a campfire here. And then look at that. There's the smoke coming out. You could also put that on the top of the house, eh, because, like, as most of you probably already know, smoke can go through blocks like that, but I'm just going to do this for my build, and then just put a stair there to make it look... Okay, that looks really weird. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to... Oh yeah, you're going to want to put down your anvil, and then rename your barrels to stocking. And then, yeah, so then just grab those, and then put a barrel here, barrel here. I guess I'm going to have to break this out. And then put a barrel there. And then you could just go ahead and fill this back in. And then look at that. Looking pretty good. And then it's really simple. All you gotta do is, and then you just put your three iron frames here. And that's the first part of it done. Now all we gotta do is add the stockings. Oh yeah, you're still gonna need, actually, yeah. If you want, you could still have the anvil down to rename the boots stocking as well if you want. But you don't have to do that. Okay, now just get to the dyeing. Remember, if you're on Java Edition, you could just skip the part with the cauldron. You could just dye it straight in the crafting. So, yeah, so, but for the bedrock people, you're going to want to place down a cauldron and then fill it with water. And then grab your boots and your dye. And then first dye the water to the first color that you want it to be. I'm just going to start out with red. And then use that on the first pair of boots. And then dye the next color. And then dye the second pair of boots. Oh, that is gross looking. Anyway, yes, we're gonna. And then there you go. You can really do as many colors as you want. I just wanted to do those because they're the most festive colors. And then you don't have to do this, but I just want to. You could just rename them Stocking. Oops. So yeah, just go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. Now all you gotta do is put your quote unquote stockings in there and look at that, you're done. And this actually works because if you tap out, actually also you're probably gonna wanna add something so that people can't get to it from the side because that would just be kinda weird, see? Anyway, so yeah, see you could just tap on the barrel, not on the item frame, and then you can put stuff in it. As if it's inside the stocking, because as you can see it says stocking there, not barrel. That's because you, remember we renamed this to stocking? Yeah, so, thank you all for watching. Um, I think both me and Jeffrey here, um, Hope you, hope you have a great day, and I will see you all later. Goodbye, everyone.